video, we will do a full and complete comparison between the iPad Pro 9.7 inches versus the Samsung Galaxy Tab S3 to see which one of these premium tablets from two rivals is better for you to buy. Now, just to put things in perspective, the iPad Pro 9.7 inch was released in March 2016, while the Tab S3 came to light in March 2017, a full year after the iPad Pro. As Apple and Samsung are always competing, inevitably questions arise. Shall I get the iPad Pro or the Tab S3? Is the Tab S3 better or is the iPad Pro better? Which one shall I buy? So in this video, we will answer those questions by doing a complete spec by spec comparison and at the end, draw a conclusion to find out which one of these tablets come out on top or rather, which one is the right fit for you. We will also talk about Tab S3's S Pen and iPad Pro's Apple Pencil. Now let's dive in and start off with the build and design. So there is no question that the iPad has a fantastic design and is built out of premium materials. It's a smooth unibody aluminum construction that feels like a million dollars. The Tab S3 has taken a different approach than an all metal body. It is actually built out of glass, both on the front and the back panel and is surrounded by a metal trim around the edges. The final result is a pleasure to hold and gives you a solid premium sensation. So neither tablet feels cheap or flimsy. It is important to understand that both products look gorgeous and feel premium, except one is aluminum and the other is largely glass. As such, it is hard for me to pick a winner because the overall design language is a subjective element and the choice will depend on the end user, on you. So if you want, you can let me know which one you think looks better down in the comments below. My personal choice when it comes to overall design is the iPad, but that's merely my subjective choice. Now moving on to some particulars, the iPad Pro has a lightning port as well as a smart connector. The smart connector is there so you can buy and attach the Apple smart keyboard directly to your iPad if that is a functionality you're looking for. The Tab S3 offers a USB type C port and also offers a smart keyboard connector, which serves the same function as the iPad. Both tablets have four high fidelity stereo speakers, two at the bottom and two at the top that produce loud and rich sound for entertainment lovers. It's quite interesting that so far, both of these tablets seem almost equally valuable. But let's keep digging in deeper and find out if one trumps the other. Now, just one more thing. Both these devices are expensive devices as well as slippery devices. Both glass and aluminum can simply glide out of your hands and onto the floor. So unless you want a shattered tablet, I highly recommend buying a protective case lest you wish you had. All right, so let's move on to the processor, memory and storage options. The iPad Pro sports a powerful dual-core A9X processor with 2GB of RAM and starts with a base storage capacity of 32GB at a price of $599. The Tab S3 also sports a powerful processor, which is a quad-core Snapdragon 820 CPU with 4 gigs of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage at a price of $599. It is important to note that we have an equal starting point for pricing. Both tablets start at $599. However, where the Tab S3 pulls ahead is that it has a micro SD expansion slot, which allows you to add up to 256 gigabytes of extra storage just by using a micro SD card iPad Pro does not have this expansion option, but you could buy a 128 gig or a 256 gig model, which is going to cost you much more than buying an SD card. As for the actual power these devices produce, towards the end of this video, we will run a processor and memory benchmark test to see which one has more raw horsepower. So for now, let's crown the Tab S3 the winner in this category, because if you are hunting for storage space at a lower price, Tab S3 gets you more bang for your buck because it has that micro SD expansion option. Let's move on to the dimensions and weight. So the iPad Pro measures 240 millimeters in height. It is 169.5 millimeters wide and 6.1 millimeters thick and only weighs 437 grams. 
The Tab S3 measures 237.3 millimeters in height, 169 millimeters wide, and 6 millimeters thick, weighing 429 grams. So the Tab S3 has slightly more favorable numbers, but the differences are simply a few millimeters and grams, which makes this category absolutely worthless in having any weight towards your choice. Both of these products are extremely thin and lightweight, so portability is not an issue. Let's move on to the screen size and screen features. This is another category where the Tab S3 takes a slight lead. And that is not because it has a higher quality screen. Trust me, both of these displays have tip-top display quality. You get the best of the best. They both sport a 9.7 inch screen with the exact same resolution of 1536 by 2048, which comes out to be 264 pixels per inches. The reason the Tab S3 leads in this category is because it has an HDR capable display. This will allow you to fully enjoy HDR enabled movies on your Tab S3, delivering a vivid and detailed experience that will be unmatched by the iPad Pro. However, it is essential to understand that this shouldn't have any weight in affecting your choice. Since unfortunately, we have a minimum amount of HDR enabled content available. So basically, despite having HDR support, you will rarely get to use it. For everything else other than the very rare option to enjoy HDR content, both of these screens are equally fantastic for reading, watching regular high definition videos, browsing, gaming, or viewing photos. They are crisp, vivid, bright, and sharp displays. Now let's move on to one of the most important category of all, the software. The Tab S3 runs the latest version of Android, while the iPad Pro runs the latest version of iOS. When comparing iOS and Android, the differences boil down to two categories. Number one, customization, and number two, app ecosystem. When it comes to customization, the Tab S3 is light years ahead of the iPad Pro. Android allows you to completely and fully customize your tablet to fit your own personal sense of style. You can modify your home screens, add some really fancy looking live widgets that also feed you useful information such as weather, stocks, your emails, timers, clocks, basically whatever you want. And you can even install third-party home screen modifiers for super deep customization and much more. On the flip side, the iPad Pro only lets you do one thing for customization, change your wallpaper. Beyond that, when you unlock your iPad, it's just a static grid of app icons. Now you do get access to live widgets on a side screen to the left, but these are just basic widgets and it doesn't really give you a sense of personalization. Now let's talk about the app ecosystem, which means let's talk about the apps. And when I say apps, I also mean games. The iPad Pro will offer you apps which will be far more polished than their Tab S3 counterparts. And the gaming experience will be far superior to the Tab S3. That's just a fact. Most apps and games for iPad are custom built for the iPad designed with a tablet in mind. But apps for Android are designed mostly for smartphones and are expected to work on Android tablets essentially being blown up versions of the smartphone apps. Unfortunately, this causes a reduction of quality of apps for Android tablets. This is really a topic I could dive into and talk about for a while, but the bottom line is that if you are looking for a customizable experience that is more free and open, you should choose the Tab S3 at the expense of foregoing polished apps and a considerably smoother gaming experience. And of course, if you do care about the high quality apps and quality gaming, iPad Pro is the way to go. It's got the better app ecosystem. Now, what if you don't care about personalization or apps? What if you just want a tablet to browse the web, check your email, read some books, newspapers, watch movies, listen to music, video conference with family and friends and such? then either tablet is fine. You can enjoy those things on either tablet without a hitch. But if you do want to go beyond the basics, you will need to make a choice based on those two points I mentioned. 
or at least give it some extra weight. Also, both tablets offer split-screen multitasking, which allows you to have two windows running side by side, which is great for being productive for research and such. Now let's talk about the S Pen and the Apple Pencil. The Tab S3 has the S Pen and the iPad Pro has the Apple Pencil. Both of these styluses are designed to give you realistic handwriting, sketching and drawing capabilities. And believe me, they both do a great job in all those categories. Additionally, you can use these styluses to navigate your tablet, which is just cool. Only problem is S Pen actually comes free with the Tab S3 while the Apple Pencil is going to cost you $100. So if you want realistic writing and drawing capabilities and decide to go with the iPad Pro, you are going to pay a premium for something that is free with the Tab S3. On top of that, the S Pen has unique software capabilities that Apple Pencil can't duplicate, such as the Air Command menu. This menu appears when you press the side button on your S Pen and gives you several useful software features. There's no time to go into details, but I think it is obvious that you're getting more with the Tab S3 with a lower price. But going back to the app ecosystem, the iPad has more apps built and updated specifically for the Apple Pencil. So perhaps if you are a real creative professional, you might want to tilt towards the iPad Pro. Now let's move on to the camera. I hardly ever use cameras on a tablet, but for those of you who are interested, the Tab S3 has a 13 megapixel rear facing camera, while the iPad Pro has a 12 megapixel rear facing camera. Both rear cameras are certainly capable of recording in 1080p at 30 or 60 frames per second, as well as 4K recording at 30 frames per second. You can also record slow motion videos with each tablet. Those are all good features. On the front, both the Tab S3 and the iPad Pro have a 5 megapixel camera. Overall camera performance on both of these tablets is equal and based on my tests, they are actually pretty good cameras both for photo and video. I don't think you'll be disappointed. So let's move on and talk about the fingerprint sensors and battery life. Both tablets have top-notch fingerprint sensors that work flawlessly 99% of the time, so there are no complaints there. They're fast and accurate. As for battery life, both tablets claim to yield approximately 10 hours of battery life with medium use, which is a healthy combination of several different activities. In my tests, the iPad Pro does outlast the Tab S3 by a few hours. So if the battery life is your only concern, you will get an extra hour or two when using the iPad Pro. Just keep that in mind. Now let's finally move on to the benchmark test and then we will draw our conclusion. And here's the results from the benchmark score. And as you can see, iPad Pro in both the single core performance and multi-core performance has a lead. This doesn't mean too much, but it does show you that the iPad Pro has more raw horsepower. So how do we draw a conclusion? First and foremost, let's understand that both of these tablets will do an amazing job when it comes to the basics. If you want a tablet to check emails, browse the web, check your calendar, read books and newspapers, annotate documents, as well as enjoy rich media content such as movies and music, either tablet will do a phenomenal job. Both tablets are highly portable, offer fantastic displays, and produce rich stereo sound from quality speakers. But the moment you go beyond the basics and start asking questions like, what am I losing with the iPad Pro? Or, what am I losing with the Tab S3? You can then start taking a look at the software. The Tab S3 is a more open and free system with the ability to customize and personalize your tablet. The iPad Pro is a more controlled environment with minimum amounts of customization but with maximum quality of polished apps and gorgeous games that play as smooth as butter. iPad Pro also happens to have more professional grade apps that were specifically designed with a tablet in mind, while the Tab S3 often uses blown up versions of Android smartphone apps. If you are going to be operating on an app basis, meaning you want gorgeous apps for everything, the iPad Pro is the way to go. Now, another thing to consider is the value you get based on how much you spend. In this instance, the Tab S3 offers better value for your money, and it is just as premium as the iPad Pro. It comes with a free, high-grade S Pen that is just as capable as the Apple Pencil 
Yet with the iPad Pro, the Apple Pencil will cost you another $100. Tab S3 also has storage expansion slot which allows you to add extra storage for movies, photos, music for a low price. You can buy a 128 gigabytes micro SD card for less than $50. And again, with the iPad Pro, if you want an iPad Pro with 128 gigabytes of storage, you end up spending $699 instead of the $599 for the 32 gigabyte model. So all these things should be thought of. But I would put the highest concentration on how you feel about the software. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you which tablet to buy but I can make you aware of things you should be looking out for. Just remember, both of these tablets are premium products and compete with each other directly. Whichever you buy, you won't feel slighted, but you want to make sure you get the right tablet for yourself. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Now make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come and give this video a thumbs up. And of course, stay tuned. Have a fantastic day.